What do you hope young people will learn from your story? Uh, well, when I was growing up, my mother said to me, uh, when I wanted to go to Africa, and everybody laughed at me, and said, how will you get there? You're just a girl, and Africa's far away, and you don't have any money. And she said, if you really want it, you're going to have to work hard and take advantage of opportunity and never give up. So I've had young people like you come up to me and say, thank you for giving me an example to follow, but I've, even more important, I've had grown-up people come and say, I want to thank you because you taught me that because you did it, I can do it too. So that's the message. That's a very nice message. Because we can all do it. What's the most important things we can do for our environment? Well, we can probably all do a little bit different depending where we live and things, but basically, if we understand that every single day that you live, or I live, or any of us live, every single day we make choices, don't we? What we eat, what we wear, how we interact with uh, the people we meet or the animals. And if we start thinking, well, how was this thing made? Did it harm the environment? Did it involve cruelty to animals? Um, is it cheap because of child slave labor? And you start finding out about those things. If millions of people around the world make ethical choices, even little choices, can you see how that will change the world? So that's what you can do. Think about the consequences of the little choices you make each day. The butterfly effect. Yes, right. What's your advice for children? My advice for children is to get involved in roots and shoots or something similar and just do something to make the world a better place. So that at the end of every day you can ask yourself, well, did, it, did, did I do anything that made the world better or perhaps made it worse? Or did I just not even bother to think about it? And if you could, would you like to be our age now? Mm, not really. I don't think so. Why not? Well, growing up, it's, I don't know, I think I, I had enough growing up. <laughs> I think what I'm doing now is something I'm meant to be doing. And I couldn't do it if I was your age. So what I like doing is being with you at your age and talking about what you think and what your future is and what you can do to make a difference. And if I had a magic stick and I could make you wish something, what would you wish? I'd wish that we could have a critical mass, you know what that is, a tipping point of young people who grow up understanding that, yes, we need money to live, but it goes wrong when we live for money. And we're just thinking money, 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 money. And uh, this is why, you know, business is competitive. It's why corruption creeps in and it's destroying the planet. So that's why I work so hard going around talking to people like you. 300 days a year. In your life, you did many things different, a different way than other normal people did. So do you think <laughs> you we mean should... I mean, I'm uh, abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, do you think we should like follow the rules or do things our own way? Well, it depends. I think some rules really we need to follow. It, it, honestly, you can't just make a blanket statement. But if you feel very, very strongly that the normal way of doing it isn't right, then I think it's worth a try. Yeah, but, just like you. Yeah, but my mother always used to say to me, she was very wise, my mother, and she would say, if you meet somebody who thinks differently from you, or if you find people doing something in a way that you don't think they should do it, first thing you must do is listen to them. Because maybe they've got some points that you never thought of. But if you still feel, well, I still think my way is better, then you've got to have the courage of your conviction. But be wise about it. Children are more positive about life and our world than adults. Are they? You're telling me I'm not positive about them? <laughs> Come on, what's the rest of the question? Are you more positive or negative? I'm totally positive. And I'm totally positive because I believe in all of you young people. And I believe that when you know what the problems are, 
and we listen to you and we help you to take action or empower you to take action, you're changing the world. You're definitely changing the world.